Hi, welcome back students and professionals. Uh, let me try to describe about one important thing, document flow in S4 HANA or ECC. So these flows are very, very important uh, to check for our SD all transactional processes, whatever you take. So why it is so important? Because I have worked for one support project. Okay, I don't want to name out the client, but Sometimes what they will do, so end user might not have proper training, okay? So they will create, and they don't know what is the difference between sometimes the credit memo and debit memo. They will create credit memo after the debit memo, credit memo, debit memo, invoice cancellation, or else like that, you know, they will try to, they will do the returns. They will create a sales order like that, you know, with their internal, I mean, internal fears, they cannot able to uh, track it down properly i have seen certain issues holding like you know more than 100 or 200 line items uh, within that like you know it may be relevant to billing plan or something like that so it has done scrap of document flow so let's see this okay so what is this document flow let me try to create a sales order now okay it's uh, it's useful for beginners but still it is important for experienced professionals also how to check the doc flow okay mm -hmm. so let me try to come to this okay so mm -hmm. i have created okay so let's come here so let's save the sales order Okay, now go to PA03. Okay, let's click on this button. This is in S4 HANA document flow and the higher version of your EHP7 and all you will have. This is now open the status. Okay, let's try to come here, try to check items. Only one item is available, the line item 5. This is how you have to check. Now let's go to VA02. Okay, press enter. Let me try to add maybe one more material. Okay, save this. So let's cancel this. Let's try to check any other material. Mm, 150. Five. Let me take this one. Okay, so your yeah, item category is redetermined and new pricing is carried out. Let's go for this. I think stock is not available, no issues. Okay, so it's still asking edit. Okay, let's go to the pricing. Okay. So it's out of context don't try to resolve this issue now so it delays our process let's try to take the same material okay let's save this now go to the doc flow okay now you can see this order it is showing this is how you can able to check item by item in support for example so it might be like, you know, 100 or 200 or, you know, 300 or 400 line items will be there. Which line item actually it went wrong. That's how you can able to see this. I'm just showing the sample example. So now let's go to sometimes for certain line, because of certain line item, your accounts won't be posted. Especially you will get issues month end. Okay. It's, uh, it's not so easy to handle. At the same time, it's not so difficult. If you have that... Uh, analytical power to check document flow mm -hmm. so let's come here mm -hmm. so i'm just picking this one okay so let me try to increase the quantity here okay for this item so let's do the first goods issue so now let's go va03 and you try to observe this Okay, doc flow again. So you got these documents, outbound delivery, picking request and goods issue done. Okay, now let's come to more, check item level what exactly happened. 
now you can see you got some idea about this one like you know one cork is 50 so here for the line item 5 okay it is copied into delivery item as a 10 but it is got increased one more quantity that's why it's become like a hundred cartons so like uh, if it is order related billing so the billing will be done for 50 cartons only for both but actual deliver this this is a issue so like that you know there are few few minor issues that you can able to find out in uh, document flow let's create the bill now okay of course it is not order billing it is a delivery related billing only let me try to save this okay so now go to va03 again let's try to check document flow okay and let's try to check items okay for here if you see this invoice done for 100 here no problem but actually, you know, it's supposed to be like, you know, 50 items extra they have done is, supp is supposed to return. Okay. For such a case, what it will happen. So like, uh, just take this invoice reference. So you got a support issue like, you know, so we have delivered, but we invoice so that the customer also don't want it. Such a case, what you have to do it. You have to return and uh, raise a credit memo. Okay. VA01. Okay. Let's take RE and go to the more sales document create with reference or else bottom you can able to find the same button so let's go to the billing document press enter okay now let's try to you just go for item selection so i just want this uh, so only item the, i wanted to return one quantity okay so let's uh, uh, try to select this okay let's copy this to your sales order return sales order here what i want to do is i would like to reduce one quantity okay so i'll i'll just uh, assume that you know so it is got let me try to let me try to choose the blank So let me try to take out this one. So people are practicing with billing blocks also. They have created too many. Even I cannot able to see the drop down also. Okay. So now billing block I have removed. So for what reason? We're not rejecting actually. If you go to this one, uh, like. Uh, here we have to see for what reason actually you know like uh, not uh, quantity di difference is there okay i'm just uh, trying to save okay now again go to va03 okay you can able to check the document flow of this particular item okay so since it is open now go again document flow view items and let's check the items okay actually it has to be 50 100 we are just uh, taking the goods back and we are paying back to our customer let's come to vl01 and let's press center let's try to do the post goods receipt okay this is for single item so let's do the receipt okay now come over here let's try to do the return bill actually okay so press enter so it is fully invoiced let's go to va03 so credit of returns it is got created so it's blocked because of xyz reason let's try to check this okay this postings got blocked okay so anyhow uh, let's try to go back and first you try to check document flow okay 
so let's come here view items let's click here okay so now if you see this this is what we are supposed to uh, written for this since it is order related now you can see that one inconsistency even i have done okay so in order it is 100 but actually delivered 50 but total amount written now what happens on top of it we have to raise a credit memo for one carton and we have to receive for this customer okay so let's take uh, this one invoice now i have done inconsistency you try to observe 50 it is got ordered okay 100 delivered 100 build but one carton need to be written and half of the amount need to be written but actually what we have done total money we return now what we will do it okay you have to take this uh, document invoice document we will create the debit memo to receive the money you see the inconsistencies this is the example i just wanted to show you so why because uh, like you know in real time even you will get complex issues at billing level okay otc process level all these are why we have support this because of this thing only so let's come to the uh, copy okay so like a uh, credit memo already exists no problem so like uh, for this uh, i don't want it okay let's delete this line item so i just want to take money back for one piece so let's come here you can able to choose order reason anywhere okay order reason is like price difference you can choose this as of now no problem it's not uh, that thing so like let's try to take this one let's save this now come here vf01 okay press enter see for one item we are just taking money back so this scenario is there assume that this is the scenario how do you check okay where is the sales order and they, they might give only one sales order for you you know to check people are thinking that you know what is easy i can play like anything it's not like that you can play but you need to get some experience to handle all these things actually so let's click the display document of this now you see the document flow so this is itself is confu confusing sometimes you will have like you know 50 60 line items maybe went wrong maybe it may be third party sales or any sales like you will have to support for that now you see this is the document flow what we have done we have created on sales order one uh, return order invoice wrongly created and quantity we have taken back correctly and for that you know credit memo issued for full value and we need to take it back on carton back for that we have done debit memo this is how you have to play with the system so let me try to show you something okay let's come here so so you see this vbfa it will be helpful to you a lot this is the table actually for document flow okay so for example let's go sc 16 n so it is still available in s4 hana no worries and let's come here we are lucky for this they know the importance of this material you can see this preceding document or preceding item either if you give preceding this one you can able to get all follow-on documents okay now let me show you the example so here 252 if i give as a preceding document if i wanted to check certain item also i can able to check let me try to give the 252 okay let's try to run you will get all follow-on documents after that sales order delivery billing everything created right here you can able to find with the category so j means delivery okay m means your invoice okay you can able to see oh this is uh, your credit memo l means your debit memo okay so p means your debit memo invoice like that you know you can able to find the flow of whatever the so with this also you can able to find out what exactly happened what are the net value is this this is a on top of it you can able to find the moment app 651 is for your returns right 601 is for your uh, this thing probably we'll done one video on moment types in future this is how you can able to play with the system for example if i have taken this is uh, for example i take this invoice okay 
I, I'm copying this. Let me check one more time. It is not copied. Let me take this, this invoice. Okay. So what happens? I will show you. Let's take out this uh, preceding document. You can able to see this fall on document. This is very useful to pull your uh, functional logic also on S4 system or ECC system. If you type here as a fall on document. So now above this, what are all got created? You are getting here. You see for two line item five one ten. So this is how you can able to find that you know written order and your invoice and your delivery okay this is how you can able to play with the document flow table i think you got something uh, today to learn i think you got some very good idea about document flow like that you know sometimes they will create in document flow free of charge subsequent free of charge or multiple invoice cancellation multiple times recreation that is the fear from user side you should be in a position to analyze Analysis also so important for functional consultants if you if they are working in uh, support projects especially. Sometimes it will be escalated. I have seen a few tough, very tough issues. I worked for two or three days also for one issue continuously. I mean, I slept, that is different, but working hours got extended like anything. Okay, you will get a call from uh, your, uh, what I would say, big folks delivery managers and above that directors also company directors from client pressure you see these are all the course i have created currently price is high generally it will be various in between mm, so like you know 500 350 to 450 most of the times 400 to 450 or 500 it will be there so you get an opportunity to subscribe these courses currently it is 74.5 it is going to be more on ecc and you have one course pricing it is available apart from that if you are beginner you would like to write functional specification for that i have given scenarios now i have shown the document flow right that logic also given one of the report custom logic how to develop this how to handle this one this is s4 on a simple logics business partner this is one of the uh, you know key concept and cva integration if you are beginner then you better join this course i'm telling you if you have some ecc background also currently s4 hana projects available if you don't have minimum knowledge uh, you will have internal project interviews they won't let you in you better try this so it will be the future till 2028 you don't have any problem maybe it will be extended so one course on rebates if you have doubts on stock transfers we can go for this okay as for HANA business processes, one I have done an ECC. These two are almost like similar courses. One is an S4 HANA and ECC. And when it comes to uh, like uh, this is the credit management, I have done one course on S4 HANA. This is S4 HANA intercompany sales and consignment sales. This is a new course I have created. And uh, like you know, whoever earlier students uh, they liked my course, they asked me to create this course for us to get continue on. Like, you know, advanced topics of pricing conference concepts, you can utilize this. This will be updated continuously. See, uh, having a decade plus experience, whatever the knowledge I have on this sharing, okay, it should be some worth for it. You can see stock transfer orders on S4 HANA. You can able to learn this. This is a live course. You will find all errors at the time of configuring in S4 HANA. Okay. So I think we learned how the document flow works i think we're good to close thank you very much have a great day i'm just giving below my video all links you can subscribe and you can enhance your knowledge thank you very much have a great day jai hind for sure